Hey guys, this is my 21st update of my Deep Blue Professional Rimless Tank. Uh, again, always some changes going on in here. I just uh, wanted to go over, you know, I lost a couple of fish and uh, added a couple of fish. Uh, actually, there's a, a fish that you see in the background on that live rock there. That is a dragon faced pipe fish, and he squirms around like a more of a snake type of uh, fish because they are not good swimmers so they kind of squirm around the rock, the sand uh, they're considered, uh, if you look them online, they're considered a uh, difficult uh, fish to have but again it's all about you know the food that you uh, feed them and I noticed that he was eating you know looked like kopi pies in the tank at the aquarium store so I picked him up and with the success I have with other pipefish, including my pair of blue striped pipefish, uh, it should be an easy fish to take care of. So I don't really consider them really a difficult fish, just uh, a fish that, you know, needs the right food to take care of him. Um, and he's doing very well. I did lose my blue dot jawfish. Um, I could, could have been blue dot jaw the fish to the disease. I mean, there was no other fatalities with my fish. It looked like he had a hard time uh, acclimating in this tank uh, after a few weeks. So, unfortunately, he passed away. And he actually killed in a long way that ruffled coral that I had uh, that's sitting over here because of the sand over time just irritated the coral and it just uh, became a skeleton at that point. Uh, I did replace it, as you can see right over here. I put in a little background, uh, a torch coral. My blue clam here, um, it has a blue, uh, you know, pinch mantle disease, I believe, but it had this for a while, um, but it's still, you know, extending a little bit, but not fully. Uh, you, the one way you can find if you have pinch mantle disease on these clams is that uh, the underneath where there is, you can see that blue is supposed to hang out, it's supposed to be clearly white. If you've seen the algae or green growing on it that means it's it's not doing very well so hopefully it recover but uh, generally once it gets that they perish eventually so and it looks like it's it's on its way out and unfortunately I do love this clam but uh, I do see little snails it could be pyramid snails I'm not too sure I haven't seen anything in the foot of it because that's where they'll attack it uh, but then again they're so tiny and they come out at night most likely uh, it could be it, but then again, these little small little snails I see in my tank that come out at night, uh, they could be just algae eaters. It's, it's a hard to tell the difference between those little tiny snails than pyramid snails. Uh, I did get an alvelopore, which is the cousin of the goniopores. This is actually a branching kind from Indonesia. Uh, they're more hardier than the uh, goniopores, but I think the branching uh, coral, I think, do better than wall corals or those ball type of corals. Uh, my male clownfish definitely likes it. Um, still don't know success of getting babies from them or them hosting my rose bubble tip anatomy. As you see, it's getting bigger because uh, I feed it constantly to get to that size, so I just kind of slow down the uh, feeding. Um, my other fish are doing very well. I really haven't added anything else other than losing the blue dot jawfish. My spike fin goby. Uh, it's a, I would say 50-50 if it's still alive because it was a shy fish and hung around inside this rock area. I haven't seen them in days. Uh, one, he could have gotten eaten by another fish because they're so tiny. And the fish might thought he was uh, food. Or it just perished because it wasn't eating. Because I, like I said, I when I bought him, I didn't know if it was eating at the store. And with the rarity of him, I just, uh, you know, bit the bullet and took the shot on him without making sure he was a healthy fish. But... The rarity made me um, uh, take them. So, as you see here, now the female's all up in the uh, this alveopore. And it seems like it didn't really bother her because it's not fully closed up. And it kind of says, okay, you can host me. Uh, this meat coral is doing very well. I don't know if I had it in my last video, but it's uh, a nice addition to the tank here. Um, they're similar to the scoli. They're a single head. Uh, but I just like the lime color or yellowish color when the tenex on on this particular coral, and I, I just like the way these corals are. Same thing with the acan. I'm not sorry, the acan, the uh, scolies. Uh, Sophilia is doing very well. 
Uh, I did get uh, another frog spawn here. Uh, this is like a green with green tips. It's hard to see with the daylight on there, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty much the euphilia section. Uh, the, the clownfish likes hosting this area too as well. So I kind of made this dedication to get this uh, a euphilia section. As you can see, all the hammers and uh, frog spawn. Uh, I do have the uh, little tiny green with purple dip. That's like a small branching hammer right there. So uh, hammers and again frog spawn could be next to each other. They won't kill each other. But as you can see here, I keep a little distance between this hammer and this frog uh, torch. Torches will attack, and they're kind of equal in strength. You might lose one, or you might lose both, or you might lose the other, uh, depending on the torch and depending on the hammer. But they are, even though they're in the same family class, you definitely want to have some space between them because they will kill each other. And I have lost coral in the past. I lost half of that hammer right here. As you see, that wall hammer to a colony of torches, a torch here, but the torch actually perished in a hole and it was a branching one, so um, hopefully that uh, frog spawn will get a little bigger there, but it usually does during the afternoon hours. The uh, angel here, fish is doing good, my health freaky firefish, he's a cool little guy, he hangs out here, he is close to his home. Um, the flameback angel, generally a peaceful fish, but it will cause a little trouble with the new additions to your tank. He was giving problems with the Bobonius when I added him after him and the Hell Freaky. But as you can see here, uh, after a few days or a week or so, it calms down and uh, leaves the things alone. So, a butterfly fish is doing very well. Again, see, you see the frog spawn here. The little clownfish are like hanging by it. Uh, the sponge is doing good in my tank here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, Nothing new addition wise. I'm trying to keep the uh, additions to minimum. I mean, I added a couple coral, uh, but the fish I'm pretty much at a max unless it's a tiny fish or something very unique that uh, I could squeeze them in this tank. Uh, there's no real fighting going on in my tank. Uh, again, this is a community tank, uh, so all the fish really get along here. But Bobonius seems to like this spot now. He used to be on the left side of the tank. But uh, he shifted parts of the tank and just likes this squim over here. Maybe the current's a little better for him. Uh, but uh, he's definitely doing very well over here. And uh, still a great addition to this tank. There's my eel here. I think I, he's hungry because I haven't fed him in a day or two. But uh, they could last a few days or actually months without eating. Uh, that's just the way they are. But he is definitely a hungry hippo. He will eat every day if I fed him every day. He's definitely uh, a unique eel because my other eel that I had would eat when he wanted to eat. I mean, there's days where he wouldn't touch a thing in a few days. This guy loves to eat. And uh, again, he leaves everything alone. So, But uh, hopefully I do see that spike fin goby, but it's so hard to get an angle to see if he's inside this rock. Because uh, there is a big uh, cave inside there that I can't really get with the camera. But uh, hopefully I will see him in the future. Uh, because he is such a cool, unique guy. But again, it's a shy fish. That's why I don't see it in the marketplace. And they're tiny. They're less than an inch. And this guy was probably maybe three quarters of an inch when I got him. So, a uh, very little cool guy. But, um, you know, right now I, it's up in the air if he's still alive. If he perished or not. I have no idea. But just the thought of him being alive is pretty cool. <laughs> Again, if guys, if you have any questions or you know comments about your tanks and you had anything that with my experience I could help you out, or if there's a video that you want to learn a bit, bit more about about my experience with any type of these uh, fish that I do have in my tank here, uh, just either shoot me an inbox or a comment, either or, be fine, and I'll get to you guys and either shoot a video or just reply to you guys. All right, guys, hope your tank is doing well, it's like mine, and... Happy reefing.